hey hi lovely people welcome back to our happy place i hope all of you enjoyed my last video on my kitchen countertop makeover so today i continue doing the other part of the kitchen countertop including the extended wooden counter that we did before so for this area i decided to use a different material of counter paper since the roll wasn't enough for the entire area so once done it was a huge mess and took a lot of time cleaning and putting things back to where it belonged. We decided to make this area as clutter free as possible and to make it more spacious and easy to work around. So yes, in the meantime as I started getting lunch prepared, I thought I would share a few tips with you. While cooking, always have a spoon rest to keep the spoons you cook with. It helps to keep the counter clean and will avoid confusion. This is a must for us and this is what we follow. Always wash utensils as and when done so you won't have it piled up at the end of your cooking. This is also a very good step to follow when we have very delicate things in our kitchen like ceramic, glassware and a little bit of small spoons that we use for cooking. It is always better to have a air drying mat which is a microfiber mat placed on your countertop. It is always easier when we empty food once cooked into serving bowls. So once done we can just store them directly into the fridge. It saves a lot of time. So I transferred this yummy Kerala chicken stew into this glass bowl. So as you can see, we have placed all these little delicate things on this mat which is placed on the countertop and with no ease, you can just let it dry for some time as the water will not drip and drain out onto the countertop. You can see it over here, everything is absorbed. As a habit, we buy a tray full of eggs. We wash them and store them before use. The pointed side facing down is always the best method so that the yolk of the egg stays in the middle and does not rot soon. In this method you can use it either to store it in the fridge or to even keep them outside. Do follow this method and let me know what do you think about it. So now it was time for setting up this little corner space. As mentioned, I wanted to make it as clutter-free as possible and have less things. So this is the part where I had to use another color of counter paper since the white marble wasn't enough to cover the entire large area. To begin with, we love using plants in any corner of our home. I used these pothos in this corner. These glass jars made it look so pretty and neat. This frame is something that I already had for a long time now. Cooking with love provides food for the soul. Yes, it sure does. Love is everything and love conquers. So 
so in this i use this metal corner stand that i had got from amazon which i have showed in my previous videos and place these elements that i love the most this beautiful plate that was got from home center very recently home is where plants are this pasta storing container was perfect to go over here and this cake stand for easy access over here i placed this wooden storage box with the necessary kitchen towels inside coming to this corner we placed a small little wooden block onto which we placed this natural plant which is an aglonema indoor plant So right next to this storage container I placed this metal stand which is also from Amazon which I have already showed and placed all these DIY tins that I store most of my breakfast items which I use on a daily basis which was perfect to fit in here and what more than a plant in the little space that is left out So down onto this side I just placed this oil burner over here to add a pinch of light at night this beautiful indoor plant here and it was done for this corner well there it was all done and a complete kitchen countertop i will definitely not want to use contact paper of the same material again although the glossy yellow was a little better than the white marble clutter free and neat it makes it more easy for us to cook and have a lot of space I have this grey basket to dry out utensils once washed. It is easy to handle and drains out all the vessels very well. So, however big or small your kitchen is, it's always better to have all that you need at your closest reach. The kitchen is where the heart is and should sure be the best spot in your home. So that's it for today. If you're watching our channel for the first time, please do consider subscribing. Do watch this entire video, do give it a big thumbs up. Do let me know what you think about this video. Do like, comment and share. Please do leave your valuable comments. Thank you for now. Bye. Stay safe and God bless.